We live in a big, beautiful world with all the massive glaciers, staggering mountains, and plains dotted with wild animals. If you think that you know about the best places for vacations, we have a surprise for you. There are places on Earth that don't even look like they are real because of how jaw-dropping, clean, and breathtaking they are. This might be the perfect time to plan a trip to an isolated, beautiful place. So let's look at the rarest places on Earth that are exceptionally clean. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Number 10. Huacachina Huacachina is a desert oasis and tiny village just west of the city of Ica in southwestern Peru. At its center are the green waters of the Huacachina Lagoon, ringed by palm trees and thought to have therapeutic properties. The lagoon shores are dotted with bars and clubs. Dune buggies run across the high rolling dunes surrounding the village. This impressive desert oasis was built in the 1930s around an existing watering hole. If you ever visit the place, keep your eyes peeled for a glimpse of the lake's legendary resident, which is none other than a mermaid. Peru's own home to one of the seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu, and a brilliant holiday destination. To go to Huacachina, you have to take a bus to Ica, which is about four to five hours from the city of Lima, and then you take a cab to go to the oasis, which takes you there in less than 10 minutes. It's known as one of the most underrated and cleanest places for vacation in the world. So pack your bags. Number nine, Methane Bubble Lake. The bubbles look like flying saucers that dropped into the water and froze, or ancient ice condensed jellyfish. These icy circles are frozen methane bubbles that are pockets of gas that, when trapped underwater and frozen, form a spectacular landscape. They are found in high northern latitude lakes like Lake Abraham in Alberta, Canada. These gas bubbles are created when dead leaves, grass, and animals fall into the water, sink, and are eaten by bacteria that expel methane. The gas is released as bubbles that transform into tens of thousands of icy white disks when they come into contact with frozen water. It's a stunning but potentially dangerous sight. This potent greenhouse gas not only warms the planet, but also is highly flammable. When spring comes, the time when the ice melts, the methane bubbles pop and fizz in a spectacular release. But if anyone happens to light a match nearby, the masses of methane will ignite into a giant explosion. Curious travelers can see these bubbles in lakes across Canada's Banff National Park or in the Arctic Ocean off of Siberia, where researchers have found gas bubbles as large as 900 meters across. It's arguably one of the most beautiful lakes. Number eight, Cano Cristales. Cano Cristales is a river in Colombia. It is located in the Serenia de la Macarena province of Meta. The river is commonly called the River of Five Colors or the Liquid Rainbow and is noted for its striking colors. Cano Cristales was off limits for decades while in the grip of guerrilla fighters, but is officially back in business and welcoming more tourists than ever before. Most visitors come to this remote river canyon in the Orinoquia region to hike between its waterfalls and bathe in its natural swimming holes. While worth the trip in any season, the canyon is particularly beautiful between July and November when an algae bloom turns the riverbed into a rainbow of colors. Number seven, Salar de Uyuni. Salar de Uyuni in Southwest Bolivia is the world's largest salt flat. It's the legacy of a prehistoric lake that went dry, leaving behind a desert-like, nearly 11,000 square foot kilometers landscape of bright white salt rock formations islands. Its expanse can be observed from central Incahuasi Island. Though wildlife is rare in this unique ecosystem, it harbors many pink flamingos. Frozen in the depths of winter, the salt flat is transformed into a giant sky-reflecting mirror during the rainy season. The pools left over from this monumental prehistoric lake create a shimmering, illusory horizon, making it one of the best places to visit in the world if you like a good trick shot or a fun selfie. One of the most popular attractions in Salar de Uyuni is a cemetery for trains. 
It contains all the trains that were used in mining during the 1940s and currently attracts thousands of tourists every year. It is one of the prettiest spots in the world. Number 6. Lake Baikal Lake Baikal is an ancient, massive lake in the mountainous Russian region of Siberia, north of the Mongolian border. Considered the deepest lake in the world, it's circled by a network of hiking paths called the Great Baikal Trail. The village of Litsvyanka on its western shoreline is a popular starting point for summertime wildlife spotting tours, plus wintertime ice skating and dog sledding. The water around these parts freezes into sheets of turquoise ice in winter that might look more at home in Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Temperatures can drop to 19 degrees Celsius from December to February, so don't forget to pack the overcoats. Baikal's age is estimated at 25 to 30 million years, making it the most ancient lake in geological history. It is unique among large, high-latitude lakes as its sediments have not been scoured by overriding continental ice sheets. Russian, U.S., and Japanese cooperative studies of deep drilling core sediments in the 1990s provide a detailed record of climactic variations over the past 6.7 million years. Longer and deeper sediment cores are expected in the near future. Number 5. Torres del Paine National Park At the southern tip of the Andes, in Chile's Patagonia, lies Torres del Paine National Park, a place which has its fair share of nature's majesty. It has soaring mountains, cool blue icebergs cleaving from ancient glaciers, bottomless lakes, spectacular geological formations, narrow fields, deep rivers, ancient forests, and endless golden pampas. They are covered with wildflowers and provide a home to such rare wildlife as pumas and the llama-like huancanos. The best way to see Torres del Paine is on foot, following one of the many famous tracks. But if you have to limit yourself to just a few iconic sites, visit the three majestic granite towers, or Torres del Paine, Las Cuernos, Grey Glacier, and French Valley. You won't regret it. Number 4. Minsk, Belarus Minsk is known for being clean. In fact, it is one of the cleanest cities in the world. The city council says it is one of many reasons to visit the Belarusian capital. This city embodies much of the Soviet urbanism it was once known for. That is to say, it's spotless and uncluttered. Take a trip on the Minsk metro and you'll pass through stations with gleaming marble uplighters, like at October Square, and perfectly symmetrical halls at Traktarny Zavod station. Other than learning about Minsk's past, You'll notice that every station has a fleet of dedicated cleaning staff. Go anywhere in the city and it won't be any different. Minsk's parks are meticulously maintained, and you'll rarely find locals cutting across the grass for a shortcut. Number 3. Seychellois Seychellois is an archipelago of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean, off East Africa. It's home to numerous beaches, coral reefs, and nature reserves as well as rare animals, such as giant Aldabra tortoises. Its population is less than 100,000. It also has the mountain rainforests of Morne Seychellois National Park and beaches, including Beauvillon and Anse Takamaka. Seychellois has the largest percentage of land under conservation of any country, and the most interesting thing is that just about 50% of the island nation is preserved. Because of that, the islands are home to some amazingly pristine beaches and species, such as the national bird, the Seychellois black parrot. About 305 miles of powder-soft beaches can be found on the islands, and relatively few visitors go there. Due to very few human interventions, the beaches are still really clean and beautiful. It is a perfect spot to do anything related to relaxing there. Would you want to go there in times like these? And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Umgat River This picture is of a Umgat River in Meghalaya. 
Meghalaya is one of the cleanest states of India, if not the cleanest. Blessed by the rain gods and abundant beauty, it is the responsible embracing of nature by the locals that has kept the state in pure and serene condition. It is no wonder that Meghalaya is one of the most popular summer tourist destinations in India. Umgat is the cleanest river in India too. The Umgat River is so clean that one can spot even the smallest stone lying in the riverbed. The river is entirely maintained by the local villagers, and they believe that anything that might pollute the river is cleaned up as soon as possible. Daki is situated 35 kilometers away from Malinong and boasts of a scenic landscape. The road journey towards Daki is blessed with mesmerizing beauty. Tourists would be amazed by the drastically changing landscapes, where the hills suddenly change into irrigable plainlands. There are points along the road where you can view the Bangladesh border. It truly is one of the most beautiful sights in India. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Dalal Volcano In the desert of Ethiopia lies a volcanic crater surrounded by an abundant variety of minerals. Sulfur, salt, iron, and ochre abound. There are also acidic pools and hot springs, all things associated with volcanic and geothermal activity. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here, except this beautiful volcano. All of these things combine to produce an absolutely beautiful combination of colors and formations that nobody associates with nature. Some areas look like snow-covered plains, some look like mountains with the hue setting tweaked to hell, and some look like pools on the surface of the moon. The area is often visited or photographed for good reasons. Toxic fumes are often present as a result of all the weird chemical combinations, and it happens to regularly record the highest average temperature in a notoriously hot area. Its name in the local language means disintegrated, which properly describes one's sense of reality when seeing this place. This is our list of the rarest places that are just exceptionally clean. Which is the first place you would like to visit? Tell us in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.